What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Fanboy Talks, where we talk about everything you guys might care about. My name is Vaughn Hyde. I'm joined by my good friend, Chase. Hello. <laughs> I didn't even get to see what you did mostly there, but it was definitely I was, weird. I wasn't doing anything. It was definitely odd. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about video games, any sort of other thing that we want made into a movie or TV show, uh, specifically because of two reasons. One... Netflix just sat out. Bleh, Netflix just put out a cinematic trailer for their new Castlevania series, which is actually going to be an anime. Looks, looks good. really good. Looks it looks good. awesome. I'm excited. It looks awesome. Uh, and the other being Tom Holland was just chosen as young Nathan Drake for the Uncharted movie. Uh, I, like, I like Tom Holland. I don't know how that's going to work, but I'm I'm not sure how it's going to work, but I'm very excited. Yeah, because I'm a be big cool. Tom Holland fan. Is it canon? Huge Nathan Drake fan. Uh, they haven't said, because, okay. I mean, nothing about this movie is actually happening. Like, 90% of people don't even think this movie's going to happen. Like, they I just chose him, and they're like, meh, whatever. They're just making news, fake I, news. I hope it happens, and it doesn't become Hitman. Like, that's sincerely what I hope, is, that like, it's not just a movie made, like, a game made into a movie, and it fucking sucks. Yeah. Kind of it. Which is typically how it happens. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, definitely how it happens. So, what's what's your first choice? Okay, my first choice, and I don't really have and a why? second... And I why, thought I about that. Gotta elaborate. Is Fallout. And the reason I say this is because, sure, for a while there we were getting bombarded with post apocalyptic movies and they were kind of getting stale. But I feel like we're at a point where a really good poke 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 and I don't want it to be a TV series because stuff like that can get really dragged on, like yeah, The Walking yeah, Dead. Yeah, on for a while. And um, so I think just one two-hour movie would be really good. And the reason I say that is because most apocalyptic movies kind of go the same pattern. Like, this happens and this happens and the story isn't that great, but then it starts to get better at the end because you learn, oh, his son died or something like that. He wasn't talking about a dog or something like that. You know. So, uh, some interesting, like, really good post-apocalyptic movies. The Road, I think we both agree. That one was Great good. movie. It was confusing for a while. It was very weird. Because it didn't really make a whole lot of sense to me, but then it started making sense. But I feel like they, the the people behind the uh, uh, Fallout, sorry, the people behind Fallout. Bethesda. M- Bethesda make a really good story. And I guess... He did lose his son in the last one, so it's kind of like, you know. But I feel like, given a clean slate, not Fallout 4 the movie, just a Fallout movie, I feel like they can make a really good movie out of it. And I really enjoy post-apocalyptic movies. <laughs> Tried really hard to make sure you yeah. got it out that Yeah, time. but I really like them because it makes you wonder, what would I do? Yeah, yeah. There's a bunch of, like, really good uh, Fallout, like Red Star is a really good one. There's a bunch of really good fan-made Fallout, uh, like, movies and stuff. You can check them out on YouTube. They're awesome. Um, I've watched a couple of them. I think one of them is Nuka Trip. I can't really remember. It's Nuka something, but it's just fantastic. It's so good. And then the Red Star is based off that. One of the characters in it, and it's just so good. You guys definitely need to check them out. But I would love to have some more post-apocalyptic movies but i don't want there to be too many that was the issue before people were just basically like zombies kind of uh yeah essentially they're like they're overplayed but if they're done right they're done really well and then they go down then it's awesome yeah like Zombieland was a great movie but it was definitely the start of the let's bring back zombies kind of a thing yeah people saw that they too many yeah and now it's just like oh cool now we need to make land of the dead which is a terrible movie. And then, and then at that point, it's like, but that they already did that, so we have to do this. And then the other people are like, they are doing that, so we have to do this. And it's like, it, it just really floods the market and makes them all kind of unwatchable. Yeah. There's just too many. I mean, because you always, you just know what's going to happen in all of them. You're like, that guy's going to get eaten. Oh, no, he got eaten. That's crazy. Definitely didn't see that company. 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 Coming. Uh, but I really want just a Fallout movie because I love... I love movies in that particular genre, (laughs) and um, I just would love to see them do it and and include the power suits and include them, like, building up their sanctuary, whatever, however you want to say it. I just think it'd be cool to see kind of like that play out. Essentially, the games play out in a movie kind of a thing. Yes. There's there's definitely... But done differently, because the whole vats would be difficult to explain, and... 
that actually in some of those shorts, the vats, power armor, all of that is actually in them. And it's very cool. That's cool. And, Super cool. And give a real production company yeah. money. Yeah. They could do some crazy stuff. They so I think awesome I stuff. think that'd be awesome. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, some stuff that I would like to see. I mean, I'm already getting Castlevania. I would really like, to be honest, I would like a Mass Effect movie, but I feel like it can never be done right. Um, unless it was made into a franchise, which I I would really enjoy. But, there's but wouldn't just... you rather them save the story for another game? See, that's, that's the thing. Yeah, I've already got Star Wars, which I love. I mean, I want more Firefly, to be completely honest, but I already have Firefly, which I have the series, so I can just watch it all again, and Serenity. Um, and, like, I have Star Trek. Again, again so. like the post-apocalyptic movies, there's already a big genre out there for Yeah, for, the like, science fiction. Science so fiction I don't anyway. necessarily need one. It would just be kind of cool. It'd be like, cool, like, namesake. I would probably would hate cool. it, to be honest. Oh, I would probably hate a Fallout movie, too, but... I would actually like some more animated movies of, of uh, Mass Effect. Because Paragon Lost, great movie. See, great I, movie. I find it hard to kind of follow animated movies just because i really like them they're like kind of my preferred genre just because like you're not limited to what you can basically do, do. Yeah. like your, your budget isn't like oh cool we had to like get four fucking sticks of dynamite so now we like can't have water kind of a thing it's like cool just a dumbass drawing some pictures not a dumbass they're creative geniuses a very, a very talented amazing movies person. yeah very talented people um but I would enjoy more animated, uh, more animated Mass Effect movies, more animated um, Dragon Age movies, because we got the Legend of the Seeker. But I'm not exactly into Cassandra's story. I mean, she's cool, but I don't really care that much. Um, for the most part, there's like a lot of different things that I really want to happen that are actually happening. So I've got Life is Strange. So you kinda, so you kinda, it's a thing. You kind of have what you're. Kinda... Yeah. Yeah, I have what I'm hoping for. There's definitely one thing that I don't believe is going to happen, but I want it. Um, but Life is Strange. Love the game. It's being made into a TV show, I believe by Netflix, which I'm super excited about because they seem to just be blowing shit out of the water. Like Master of None Season 2, holy shit. Maybe not that the Adam amazing. Sandler movies, but... Oh, no, those are bad. See, you gotta but have something like those, for everyone. I feel like those, those are for like the people that just like fucking drool all day. I feel like those know they're bad. Oh, and, yeah, and that makes them better, would. I feel, which is weird. Definitely would not say it makes one them I throw, better. One I want to throw out there, but I feel like it's every movie in this genre, kind of. But I want to, I want like a Red Dead Redemption movie. Yeah, you just, I, I want a return of the old-fashioned Western movie. Yeah, I guess that's kind of what I'm going for because Western movies are awesome, and you know they always have a badass like Clint Eastwood or something. And I, I don't know who would be that badass in these days, but it I'm just sure depends. I'm sure they could build a franchise around. Get Liam someone. Neeson in there. Why not? Uh, I'm yeah, just kidding. That would be bad. I feel I like want that. I feel like he, in in my opinion, for the, for like the movie type, I would be going for. I feel like he's just a little too old. Yeah, yeah, he definitely would be. I want someone like maybe in their uh, early thirties. Yeah, yeah. Be something you can like build a franchise of. Like, build a Dirty Harry franchise on where it's not... It's like somebody... I mean, I definitely think he's probably a little bit too old, but somebody, like, slightly younger. Because I could see 30s... Mid to late 30s is where I would want. Yeah. Because then they're, like, that perfect age where they, like... Where they got a little grizzle. Enough time to they really, got a little grizzle. Yeah, like, they had just enough time to hate their life. <laughs> that's essentially... And, that's and, essentially and what and I'd stand with Rockstar, I want to throw this one out. What about, like, a Grand Theft Auto type movie? Oh, like how IGN made that, made that really uh, interesting teaser. but kind of shitty looking yeah, teaser it, trailer. Yeah, it looks pretty bad, but <laughs> but like I think something like that would be pretty cool as a TV show because I feel like that'd be too much to pack into one movie. It would be interesting, but it would just be kind of like Chaos Incarnate. Yeah. Which, like essentially what Grand Theft Auto is is just chaos. Which that's kind of Man of Steel was just chaos. I mean, yeah. It was a lot of And chaos. I guess a lot of people didn't like that. So I enjoyed that movie. I thought I thought it was kind of cool. I, yeah. I, I, I kind of enjoy movies like that where shit just blows up like Transformers. Yeah. Uh, since we're already on Man of Steel, the one thing that I really want that I don't think will ever happen, but if it ever does, I just might die. A Red Hood and the Outlaws movie. That's what I want. I don't want a TV show. I don't want that. I want to see Jason Todd on the silver screen. I want to see Roy Harper. So I'm talking about original lineup of Red Hood and the Outlaws. So I want Starfire, I want Roy Harper, and I want uh, I want essentially Cora, Roy Harper, and I want Jason Todd. 
That's so do you I'm, have do you have actors for these or? I don't necessarily have actors picked out, um, just because that's a little. Maybe bit we'll harder. have to sweep back to this. Well, yeah, and... we'll have to sweep back to my fucking love. Because I, I, right I want to know who who would this team be made up of? Yeah. Would they all be stars, or would they you know, all be like fucking put Tom Holland in? Would they just be young guys trying? To... <laughs> just try Tom Holland is everything. Um, I don't know. You gotta find a good looking ginger, cause Roy Harper, ginger and good looking. See, here's the thing that would definitely annoy me. Yeah, I've never like... met one of those. A good looking ginger? I know, they don't exist. They don't exist. People tell me I look like Ed Sheeran and I think he looks weird, so I that's... definitely don't take that as a compliment. <laughs> I just that's, say. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, they're but like, if you grew your hair out. We'll, we'll definitely have to swoop. Swoop. Sweep. Sweep back to that. I think you meant because swoop. I don't, I don't know. know what I meant. Yeah, I'm not to necessarily To be totally fair. <laughs> um, but I think we're going to have to come back to that because I think that would be an interesting topic in its own. Yeah, my, Pick a my movie perfect casting, and, and casting of a fucking Red Hood in the we'll Outlaws movie. We'll have to do movie. that, because I think that'd be really I would cool. absolutely love that. That would be fantastic. Uh, that's about it for us today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure if you like this episode of Fanboy Talks, you click that like button. Make sure you subscribe for all of our upcoming content. We post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, we also post on Tuesdays and Thursdays for special stuff like our Portal Knights review coming later this week. That's for the console version, obviously not PC, because that's been out forever. And, uh, and we're not that cool. Yeah, I know, right? I'm just, I don't have a cool PC. This thing's terrible. It's not bad. I can play Braid, which I want. Um, and other than that, make sure you leave a comment, uh, not only giving us topics, but also letting us know how we're doing. Helps us out a bunch. That's it for us today, and we hope you guys have a great day.